Now that's one hell of a title. Good Lord. Good Lord. Tremendous loss to America. South Carolina is dumping $105 million of Disney investments due to structural rot in the company. Treasurer warns the sane people are now gone. Time to sell Disney? That's a question. That's a question. That's a question. Some of y'all will know where I got that from. Well, I have been saying for a while now that what they have been doing is insane. The insanity is driving me insane. So I just do not understand how they think that they have been making sane decisions. Did they just go to Twitter and start hiring people? Because that's where all the insanity in the world is. You know, most of it at least. I don't understand why they're doing what they've been doing. I really don't. I've heard about this ESG score and all this other stuff. And, oh, if you want to be set up to get awards at Oscars and Golden Globe and all this other stuff, Emmy stuff, you have to do stuff that meets a certain ESG score. Is that true or not? Because they'll put a black face like Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, in a movie, but then cover his face in China. That That's what I don't get. What is all this stuff going on? You get what I'm saying? Now, I know what y'all are going to say. Trust me. I look at way more than what you think I look at. But I'm trying to stay at a particular level right here. Always understand that. So let me see what they had to say. The story of Disney has been far from a fairy tale as of late. Desolate, <laughs> Desolate. Tesla CEO... Elon Musk recently called for CEO Bob Iger to be fired immediately. And now South Carolina is pulling its state funds out of the entertainment conglomerate. According to South Carolina State Treasurer Curtis Loftus, the decision to divest has to do with the company's management abandoning their fiduciary responsibilities. I think it's clear to anybody paying attention that there's a structural rot inside of Disney. It's deep, it's pervasive, and I suspect Bob Iger, since his return as the CEO, now realizes that it cannot be fixed. He told Fox Dig uh, Business Digital, adding, it does not bode well for the future of the company. Fox Business Digital reported that the portfolio of the state treasurer's office includes $105 million in Disney debt securities, which will not be renewed upon maturity. Loftus criticized Disney's embrace of environmental, social, and governance criteria, arguing that it's that it deviates from the core principles of investing. Yeah, cause uh, you're supposed to make money investing, not lose money. Those <laughs> those are like that's the fundamentals, and the problem is that they have been destroying these IPs fundamentally. I am begging you, Disney, I beg you in almost every video, to please start doing right. I'm still a fan with a sliver of hope. Like a like like a sliver of a of, of a of a of a uh I can't even think of a sliver of a uh a splinter. It's like a splinter. <laughs> uh it's just like a splinter in your brain. <laughs> it's a splinter, alright. It's like, God, it's just a sliver of hope, a splinter of hope that I have left that you guys will turn it around and stop losing money, start making happy people happy again. People sometimes forget that ESG has nothing to do with investing, he said. 
ESG is a speech and behavior code that was created by the left and delivered to everybody else under these virtuous circumstances or presumed circumstances. The most significant issue, according to Loftus, however, lies in the policies themselves. But in uh, not in the policies themselves, but in the individuals uh, at the helm of the company. Oh, I'm sure. Loftus lamented the cultural and managerial shifts within Disney, linking them to the company's recent performance challenges, <laughs> to say the least. The same sober, talented, mature people are gone. And now you have the gender studies crowd running Disney, he explained. That's why their movies are flops. And their market cap, I think, is about half about of, of what it used to be. It's a tremendous loss to America. We all grew up on Disney. Stop now and turn around before it's too late. I personally, as a fan, don't think it's too late. As long as you've got people that still have hope like me that you'll turn it around, you're good to go. But see, I haven't been back to the WWE since Vince McMahon destroyed it. Many people, there was an, a mass exodus of fans from WWE. You guys are doing the same thing. And his wasn't even ESG re related. His was just, I think, a, a man that's out of his time period. He was becoming out of touch. He made so many great decisions that made us love wrestling and cherish wrestling throughout our lives. But in the end, I think something with his mind started to go. And, you know, I hear it's better now, but I still haven't returned. I said I would try, but I still haven't returned. Disney, do you want people like me to not return, to get to that point where we never return? You'll make any money no more? Your movies continue to be flops? Is that what you want? Even the WWE had to bring in Triple H. Somebody who understood the fans, that knew what they were doing wrong, to fix things. You're going to have to do the same, but I still haven't returned. And Triple H is one of my favorites of all time, and I know he knows what he's doing. But I, I just tired, beaten down. I don't want to return. I don't care. And maybe, just maybe, I'll start watching a little bit that'll bring me back, but I don't care. Okay, I speak for millions and millions of fans out there. You know I do because you've been losing millions and millions of fans and dollars. Billions of dollars, right? It's ridiculous. At the time of writing... Disney share trade are at $92.56 apiece, reflecting a nearly 4% rise to yeah, year to date. However, the stock is down over 50% from all its all-time high. 50%. Over 50%. That's horrible. Of $201.91 recorded on in March 2021. We're not going to cause Disney any real harm, he said. I just want other people to see that you can stand up to these people and you live to invest another day. There are plenty of good investments out there that aren't ri as risky as Disney. And that's the truth. That is the truth. Good Lord, man. Oh. I just don't know what to say no more, man. <laughs> oh, man. But I will continue. I will continue to uh, say what I have to say.
uh, until Disney listens. I will, you know, or until I just totally don't care anymore. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at a, you know, where would I be as far as don't care, not caring? I'm probably at 90% not caring. Once I'm at 100%, you'll just never get videos, anything related to Disney or anything they own anymore. But I'm not there yet. Hopefully, they can turn the ship around and keep me as a fan along with all the millions and millions of people that have left. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about this news. If you enjoyed my thoughts and reaction to it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share.